Welcome to our educational video. This video has been developed by MedNav. MedNav is an organization that helps to promote women's and children's health worldwide through education and innovation. If you'd like to know more about our work or indeed support us, please visit this website link. Deeply impacted head. A deeply impacted head is commonly due to obstructed labor or when the patient needs delivery when they are fully dilated. Consider destructive delivery if there's fetal demise and there's limited facilities for caesarean section. Refer to the link below. The uterine incision must be made high to avoid injury to the bladder or vagina. To prevent extensions, ensure that a curved uterine incision is made and you keep your wrist straight during delivery. There are a number of other techniques that can be applied to facilitate delivery. Fetal pillow, push technique, uterotonics, patient's position, T or J incisions, reverse bridge extraction. Fetal pillow. This is a device which is inserted into the vagina before caesarean section. It will elevate the fetal head. Push technique. An assistant can cup the baby's head in their palm and gently flex and elevate the head. Do not apply pressure through your fingers, as there is a risk of skull fracture. This should be done by a senior member of staff. Head down. Ask your anaesthetist to lower the patient's head as much as possible. Ask your anaesthetic colleague to give a tocolytic, such as GTN, salbutamol, or terbutalin. This will cause relaxation of the uterus and allow you to deliver the head. However, this may cause postpartum hemorrhage. T or J incisions. If it is not possible or it is difficult to gain access, you can extend the incision with scissors to create more access. Reverse bridge extraction. Find a foot or both feet and deliver the baby by bridge. A T or J incision may be needed for access. Be careful not to hyperextend the neck.